Okay, today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make someone old in Photoshop. Now I'm gonna be doing this video a bit quickly. Uh, if you're stuck on something, feel free to pause it. Okay, so let's open up our windows here. I have some sample footage of elderly people. And this is the photo I'm gonna be working with today. So we'll just make a new layer, name it face. Let's open up our reference image that we're gonna be using. Here we go. Now we're just gonna scale this up to make it match the size of the face that we're gonna be working with. gonna crop the face out of the background just to make it a bit easier for us to work with uh, later on. I'm using the magnetic lasso tool, you can use other selection tools if you want. This one's pretty good because the background is mostly solid so it's easier to make a selection. Alright, make sure that you rasterize the layer, then you just click delete and there you go. Make sure to invert the selection before clicking delete as you'll just end up deleting the face instead of the background. Okay, so for this technique to work, both images have to be on the same layer, so we'll just merge it down. Okay, so for this we're gonna make a selection. We're going to be working bit by bit here, so we're going to start off with the forehead. We're going to drag the selection onto the face of the elderly person. Now we're going to use the patch tool, which is found on the left side. And here we're just going to simply drag it onto our younger image. And we're pretty much going to be using this technique for the rest of the tutorial. Uh, normally it's easier to make a selection on the younger face and then drag it to the older face and then use the patch to, dra to drag it back. Uh, as you can see, you can get the right shape that you're looking for. Alright, so now we're doing the cheekbones. So we're just gonna drag it onto our younger person like before. Now try your best to align it properly, otherwise it will look a bit odd. You can always do like minor adjustments later on. Right now we're just getting the main points and details down. So the good thing about the patch tool is that you can just keep, if it doesn't turn out right the first time, you can just drag it on and off until it works. Okay, so we're gonna do the other side now. The same technique, drag it onto the old guy and then back to the young guy. And now with this, there is one problem with using this technique. If you drag it onto an area that has darker skin or hair beneath it, you'll create this dark mark. Now to avoid that, I'm just going to smudge the cheek color onto the bearded area, just to make it a bit more uniform. Okay, now we're going to try again using the selection tool. Oops, we're going to use the old guy selection first, young guy selection, and then we're going to put it on the old guy and drag it back onto the young guy. Okay, so here we go. Now, as you can see, I'm lining up the nose wrinkles, I guess, as accurately as possible to the younger version. I'm just going to take the, <clears throat> the left lines and drag them on to here as well. Now don't worry if it doesn't look quite right color wise, we're going to be correcting that a bit later on. Alright, so we're going to do the other side now. And here we're also going to make the bearded area a bit more uniform in color. So we're just going to take the brush tool, select the color, and we're just going to put a bit of color 
on the bearded areas. So at the top you can see my brush setting, so it's 27% opacity and 31% flow. And now we're just gonna cover up the beard just a bit to make it an easier merge. Alright, and when you're happy with it, you can continue dragging using the patch tool and dragging the bits from the old guy onto the young guy. There you go. And now for the chin. It doesn't have to be too perfect, so don't worry about it. You can always fiddle with it to make it look better. Here I'm using the brush tool to just change the color to a more peachy color. Okay, so now we're gonna sharpen up the chin area to get rid of the like haziness white that was left over. So we'll do this by using the tools on the left, the sharpen tool. And we're also gonna be using a bit of the eraser to get rid of that uh, white mist to make it cleaner. Now we're going to be detailing the eyes a bit more, so we're just going to take the eye wrinkles from the right and onto the left, like we were doing before. Same with the left eye. And now you can see that a bit of the skin went past the head. So this is a pretty simple fix, you just grab the eraser tool. You just grab the eraser tool and slowly erase it to make it look more natural. Now here I'm just using the smudge tool to make some of these connections a bit more clean, to make them look a bit more natural, so especially around the forehead area and the eye area, We're just making the skin blend a bit better. Okay, now we're going to use the nose, there we go. So same thing, we're just going to use the eraser to tone the details back a bit to make it look a bit more realistic. Right, and feel free to play around with it. If something doesn't look right, you can always undo it and try something else. Every reference image will be different, so you might have to adjust for what you're doing. Okay, so to make our young guy look older, we're going to also give him slightly yellower teeth. So to do this, let's feather the selection, go into adjustment, and then photo filter. And we're going to pick a slightly yellow, orangey color to just overlay onto the teeth. And now here you can mess around with it. Uh, I wouldn't put too much yellow as you don't want it to look too ridiculous. 
you know, just gentle changes are usually the best. You can always go back to it and make the selection better. Alright, so now we're going to be using the eyes. We're going to make them a bit grayer, as normally older people tend to have slightly grayer eyes. Now this is, a, this is a minor detail, but I think that it adds to the image as a whole. Alright, so now we're going to be working on the hair. So select the hair. Here you want to be a bit more precise. I did it a bit quickly to show you guys. Okay, so you're going to go into levels, and here you're just going to be playing around with the settings until you get something that you like. Uh, if this is going a bit fast, feel free to pause the video and look at the settings more carefully. Now I'm just using the eraser tool to make the selection a bit better, erasing some of the white as it was too strong in some areas, especially near the hairline. We are going to fix up the mouth a bit as it wasn't the best. Okay, now we're pretty much done, so we'll just save it. Okay. We're going to delete the reference image from the picture. And we're going to save it as a JPEG. Now, you can also save it as a PNG, it depends on what you need it for. Okay, save, and now we're going to make the quality the highest as it can be. And there we go. And that's how you make someone old in Photoshop. Okay, so that was the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something. And I'll see you guys next time when I have a different tutorial. Okay, thank you and goodbye.